I never was able to understand why the world seems to be so messed up. You know, why all these wars? Why all the killing? Why do they spend so much money on things like this when they could just spend that same money and fix the problems? Do you feel like the mainstream scientific community will concede to your they way can't, of thought? Because it means then almost the, uh, the breakdown of civilization. If you realize that uh, the Earth's flat, well then, hang on. Why are we sending things up into space? There is no space. Where's all this money going to? What's the point? The reason behind all this deception is that they've relegated us to a microbe, a speck of dust in an infinite void. There's nothing in control. Powerful people who have got more money than us can now say, you do as we say. You're kind of the like father of this oh movement. Boy, how, no. how would you? <laughs> don't do You're that. You're the one who sort of started it all. I did not invent flat earth. All I did was walk up to a door, point at it, and say, you know what? I think there's some really interesting things on the other side of this, and check it out for yourself. Get ready for some flat shaming. We're tackling flat earthers today on Nutty History. That's right, everybody. We're going to get to the deep, dark truth that they don't want you to hear and let you know the real truth that they have been hiding from you this whole time. Make sure to click the subscription button and the notification bell that they don't want you to click and like this video that they don't want you to like. Let's get this out of the way. The Earth is not flat. It's also not round. It's spherical. So roundish? In most circles, calling someone a flat earther is almost the same as calling someone an idiot. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. There's a little more to it than that. And something a little more dangerous. Go out and test. You just want them to ask the questions. Why do you believe what you believe? Flat Earth theory is the hottest and fastest growing conspiracy on the web. Or it was before a global pandemic started and a whole conspiracy cottage industry sprang up to profit off of that. But Flat Earth is the big daddy and the OG of the Internet 2.0 era. We've long had conspiracy theorists publishing books and zines, having meetings and slowly spreading their message. The JFK assassination, alien spacecraft, questions about the moon landing, and government cover-ups galore have been conspiracy fodder for years. There's a giant blow dryer in my pool. But Flat Earth is new. It represents a brand new era in conspiracy driven by YouTube and social media, where the line is blurred as to who truly believes it, who's being ironic, who's a troll, <laughs> and who's using the whole thing for something more nefarious. It's bled into mainstream thought and opened a slippery slope where certain people have begun to trust the conspiracies more than the truth and science. It's also a model for how online hate groups operate and recruit. We'll explain more, but first, let's get into the history of flat earth theory. There's documentation that people knew the earth was spherical from as far back as 500 BC in ancient Greece. The Greek philosophers Plato and Aristotle knew the Earth was a sphere from their observations of lunar eclipses and the changing positions of the stars. Ancient sailors noticed that the sails of approaching ships appeared before the hulls of the ships became visible, because the surface of the sea is slightly curved, like the surface of an enormous ball. When you sail toward a ship, island, or lighthouse, their tallest points are the first thing to peek up over the curve of the horizon. Throughout the Middle Ages, nearly all scholars from all over the world agreed the Earth was a sphere. Even if the Earth was sometimes portrayed as a flat object in paintings, most scholars and even the educated general public from about 1400 on believed the Earth was spherical. Well, what about Columbus, you may be asking? What you talking about, Willis? Wasn't he worried about falling off the edge of the world? Oh no, 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 no. That wasn't a thing back then. That came later, in Washington Irving's fictionalized biography of Christopher Columbus released in 1828. Irving came up with the myth that people feared Columbus might sail off the earth and overcame those odds. In fact, because of popular writings like Irving and John William Draper, 
and Andrew Dixon White mixing myth with history. Modern belief in a flat earth briefly flourished from about the mid-1800s until 1920. The International Flat Earth Research Society was started by Samuel Shenton in 1956 in the United Kingdom. Notice anything odd about the year? Yeah, he started the first modern flat earth society right before humans started going into space. Shenton wanted to reach kids before they were convinced that the earth was spherical. How noble. I ain't gonna let them hurt the kids. In fact, there isn't any South Pole. No, no, no. The um, 60,000 miles was around the ice barrier. In the late 60s, he gained notoriety as the crazy guy newscasters would interview just before cutting to footage of humans being launched to the moon. Charles K. Johnson took over the Flat Earth Society in 1972 from his home in California. He's the guy that introduced the idea of conspiracy into the whole thing. The civilization is, is crumbling. It must come to pieces because we're based on a completely false premise. And I mean, Watergate, things like that have no consequence. See, not only was the Earth flat, but there's a conspiracy to keep you from knowing that. With that hook, Johnson got the society to 3,000 members. The Flat Earth Society was revived as a website in 2004 by Daniel Shenton. It's so frustrating to argue with these people because we try to use basic math and astronomy and it doesn't work because guess what? We've had enough of your hurt speech. They invented their own math and astronomy. The Flat Earth Society subscribes to the Zetetic Method the Zetetic Method places a lot of emphasis on reconciling empiricism and rationalism and making logical deductions based on empirical data. So, you know, if it looks true, it is. In Zetetic Astronomy, the perception that Earth is flat leads to the deduction that it must actually be flat. Right out there, that's Seattle. You shouldn't be able to see it. There should be hundreds of feet of curvature between us and them. You should barely be able to see the tops of those buildings. The rest of their beliefs and conspiracy theories come out of how to prove that fact that they know to be true. This is FEIC 2019. Now, the Flat Earth International Conference is a whole other entity. And those Flat Earthers and the other Flat Earthers do not get along. FEIC is run by Robbie Davidson. Robbie Davidson. Davidson is a born-again Christian and his Flat Earth brand has a similar vibe. The flat Earth truth is leading to the Creator. According to him, Satan has convinced us that the Earth is just a random speck in an infinite universe. But in reality, the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and stars are contained in a Truman Show-like dome. And like all true Flat Earthers, he knows that photos of a round Earth are simply photoshopped. The FEIC doesn't think the Earth is a big pancake hurtling through space. Although that does sound delicious. Mmm, pancakes. They don't believe that space exists. They simply believe that the world sits still and the moon landing was faked and the jury's still out on gravity. <laughs> No gravity. One thing both groups and many unaffiliated flat earthers tend to agree on is that you don't just fall off the edge of the earth. You run into Antarctica. The planet is a circular disk and Antarctica acts as an ice wall barrier around the entire edge. Depending on who you ask, it's a 150 foot ice wall that's guarded by NASA. Of course, there's also everyone's favorite person on the internet, the guy that's just asking questions. <laughs> These people aren't in a flat earth society, they just disagree with things. They aren't necessarily contributing anything, but hey, they are asking questions. Everyone says the earth is a sphere. Just asking questions guy strolls into the room and says, hey, what if it's not? And blows everyone's mind. Wait. Not everything is conspiracy theory. Asking questions guy is closely related to troll guy and edgelord. Take it easy, edgelord. Take a hard mob! The difference between these three is their sincerity in their cause. But just like when this is done in hate groups or in other internet phenomenon, the sincerity and the intention behind what they're doing doesn't really matter. What matters is their actions. 
and their actions are they are people doing and saying idiotic things. I hate the Jews because they are behind all this. I am exhausted and overwhelmed by the stupidity that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know if there's any if, if there's any real change anymore that can be brought about by showing people the facts and reality when people deny the facts and reality for whatever they want to believe. When it comes to putting their foot in their mouths and just asking questions, flat earth theory has proven to be catnip amongst celebs. With the flat earth thing, that's only the only belief. Does it matter? NBA superstar Kyrie Irving was an early high profile just asking questions guy, but later recanted, casting doubt onto whether or not he truly believed the earth was flat. Troll? Maybe. <laughs> Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal dropped the knowledge that he knew the earth was flat in a podcast, saying that when he drives from Florida to California, it's flat to me. That was a joke about the world being flat, right? Was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Hip-hop artist Bobby Ray Simmons Jr., also known as B.O.B., released a track called Flatline, where he dissed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hey, Neil Tyson need to loosen up his vest. They probably write their man one hell of a check. Hey. After the two went to war on Twitter about Flat Earth. Seriously, B.O.B. is convinced the Earth is flat. He tweeted, no matter how high in elevation you are, the horizon is always eye level. Sorry, cadets. I didn't want to believe it either. Yes, science! From true nut job organizations to celebrities that are just asking that's questions what, what and supposedly challenging the scientific status quo, flat earth theory has become the jumping off point for modern conspiracy theorists. There's satire, and then there's iron detachment that is so far detached, it eventually becomes belief. Mark, do you really believe this stuff? Tell me the truth. I'm serious. I absolutely 100% believe we are not on a globe. We are part of a giant studio set. Uh, all the world's a stage and you're on it. And this all leads down a slippery slope where the conspiracies are the prevailing narratives and we pick and choose what real news stories we actually believe. We can't let ourselves create a fake reality just because the real one is uncomfortable. Just like the Earth, we need to be well-rounded. Whether you're a flatter or a rounder, hit that notification bell and subscribe to make sure you never miss a theory. Thanks for watching. Science has had its chance and they aren't putting up a defense. I think that Flat Earth could potentially usher in a new golden age or it could usher in an age of chaos.